think when I had some fascinating discussions yesterday at lunchtime and our lunchtime walk and then our evening walk, namely about um, the deep importance of having a family. That that's a that funny for a man that in my twenties didn't want a family, but I just. Maybe I'll explore that more in 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 different in new in different videos and in in my writing. But um, I have a hard time talking about it because it kind of runs counter to the way that I used to think that that family was optional to a good life. Starting to think because because the reason I'm, I'm hesitant to do it is that there are people that don't have families or maybe for one, one reason or another can't have families and what about them yeah I know but I think that <clears throat> this is tied more to biology than anything else I think there's a, a biological mandate and reward I, I, well, I know it I, it's, it's, okay, it's, it's part of my good life creed it's the, it's the principle, of, uh, per, principle of purpose and the principle of biology that we are uh, and I do believe it's true. We are hardwired by nature to have families. There's something very deep in that, and it's even there's even a further bit in the in the sub principle of catalyst. We, well, we, well, well, darn it! I have another the whole principle on its own called the principle of family, right? I only added that half a year ago, and the sub principle there is catalyst that. Family is the catalyst to our to achieving our better ends in life. So yeah, I mean it's not like I'm hiding this idea. It's right out there in my creed. Hmm. Well, I'll just add the most interesting part of the conversation yesterday was when Yumiko and I were watching a YouTube channel called Takasu Tile. Two words, Takasu is a surname, Japanese surname, and tile is in roof tile. And uh, it's a young man, 29 years old, living on his family's farm in a rural area in Japan, who, uh, after his grandfather died, he redid the bonsai potting shed into a, he spent a, basically $10,000 and uh, built it into a, a home for himself. It was a single man place. He's, he has his videos are amazing, just beautiful, just slice of life, you know, just sweet life, you know, food and clothing and decor and and he's helping out with the family, so he's pulling his weight, but and he says very seems to have a very good relationship with his mother and his father and especially his grandmother who he's very close with and he he appreciates his the family that he has and the farm and everything like that and he chips in. He's a great guy, but Yumiko and I comment or that he's living this fine sweet life and I told her Yumiko yesterday after we had watched the episode the latest episode that it's like living the way that he's living is <clears throat> is consuming the family inheritance and it's not that he doesn't chip in it's that well I guess he doesn't chip in because the peace that I'm referring to is pressing the, the family forward into another generation, having children, basically. Now, he has brothers, and his brothers have kids, so we can say that that piece is done. So, yeah, that, that can be satisfied in that way. Yet, okay, let me spin around again. Yumiko had observed that she was like, she was jealous. And she, she said it as such, that a 21-year-old, 29-year-old man can live that life where he wakes up in the morning, dresses nicely, has the time to dress nicely, make a, make a beautiful breakfast for himself, go out and tinker in the garden, and then help out with the family planting rice, and then come back and enjoy the evening. You know, no responsibilities, no large cares, uh, very secure in the comfort of his home in the village, and the good relations that he has with everyone in his family, and et cetera, et cetera. And she was like, she was like, why is it that he gets to enjoy that at age 29? You know, she's like railing at the universe. It's unfair. You know, here we are at 60. We're almost there. You know, that's that's coming for us within a year or two. 
But, you know, it's at the tail end of life. My comment to her was, yeah, that coming back to the consuming the family inheritance, right? These are the years that he's in right now when he has to hit part of his in, his share of pulling the weight is the investiture of energy, time, and heartache even in furthering the family, pushing the family forward by finding someone to call his spouse and to have children and do all the stuff that's related to that, the 25 years of hard work of raising children, at least one. Then comes that life. Call me old-fashioned, right? But it's a tried and true method. It's what works if we keep our if we're going to keep our species alive. Maybe not so much anymore. Not with you know how many billions of us there are now. You know, there's other ways. Like his family has found the way. The brothers have the kids. Yet, still, it's biologically within us. So I coming back to that thing. It's like he's consuming the family inheritance. It's like having the family wealth and spending it as a young man before he te he husbands and cares for that uh, by, by, ha by ha creating his own family, bringing his own children and heirs into the world. And then at the end, once the heirs can take over, <clears throat> he can enjoy <clears throat> a half decade or, if he's lucky, a decade of peace or more, maybe if you're really lucky. That's what we meant. I also said to you, Nico, I believe, and I can't say this from experience, it's just my hypothesis. Something is lacking if you don't make that, to again, use the word investiture, investment may be a less fancy word, in the next generation. I can speak from experience on that. I remember being in my 20s, mid-20s, late 20s, and wondering what this was all about, what would bring peace. Now I know. It's, it's doing my duty. As Emerson said, do your work. I've done my work. I've, 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 I've had, I've, I have my family. I've raised my kid. There's something about that, that inside the brain clicks and says, Good job. Yeah, your your work is here uh, at ease. Om almost dismissed. Whew, to be put to pasture after that hard work is done. Now, there's the tricky part. There's the part that I, I'm hesitant to go this route because what about those that didn't or couldn't do that? And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's other ways. Speaking to that biological mandate that doesn't give a damn, that will reward us for being family men and women. And I don't know what to do about those that don't. I'm sure that there's another type of peace. I'm sure of it. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure of it. I don't. Maybe it's just something else. Maybe it's like it's like satisfying it in some other way, because it because you can't have that particular peace. You can't have the peace of family if you didn't create family, right? Maybe you can have it another way, because I do in my definition of family, it doesn't matter what I define, but in my own definition of family, it's more than biology, it's more than children, it's the people that we choose, but it's different in some way, right? Maybe aunts and uncles, I don't know. I can't really speak to it because I don't know, I can, all I can do is speculate. But there you go. So, I think I'll leave that there. <clears throat>